What's up, YouTube? This is Rose go back with another video. Now check it out, man. Uh, your boy whack one hundred. Man, that boy be wilding out. So he didn't got in a discussion with Rainwater, the Mo Three manager, about the outside song. They said they come outside. Ooh, yeah. Niggas know we sliding night and day. Hey, man, rest in peace to Mo Three, right? He trying to say that that was his song first. Him and Blueface song. But I'm like, all this arguing, it was really Bobby Billion's song. And I remember when, uh, you know, they were saying that Mo3 was trying to buy the song from Bobby Billions, if I'm not mistaken. He was trying to buy that song because he liked it. And so Bobby Billions wasn't trying to sell it. And so when Mo3 passed, then they put Mo3 on it, which was kind of shady. You know what I'm saying? People was making an uproar about that. Uh, that's crazy, though. Not not him and Rainwater going back and forth about how, because, uh, you know, about the song and who had it first and Blueface verse is better than Mo3 verse, which we all know that is. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You know what I'm talking about? Mo3 killed them shits. That, that would be a forever classic, bruh. Now, I, I have heard the, uh, the song with Blueface. I, I've heard that part. I, I, I See, this what messed it up. Because when Mo3 came out with it, or whatever had you, when his verse, put it like this, when Mo3 verse came out first, it messed up anybody else trying to get on it as a remix or anything of that nature. Because Mo3 had killed it. You know what I'm saying? He had killed it. So that's, so that's my point. My point, again, is it's like, if it was their song first, Wack 100, why he didn't put the blue face out first? I, in my opinion, I think even if he would have, even if they would have came out first with the blue face version, and, and then Mo3 version came out second, it still wouldn't have been no competition, bro. It still wouldn't have been no competition. I'm just saying. Message. So, Wack 100 getting into it with everybody. So, he didn't get into it. You know, in uh, the past couple weeks, he had been getting into it with Jay Prince. He was getting into it with the man himself, Jay Prince. Shout out to Jay Prince. I don't know, Smoke. You dig? Holla. Mr. Jay Prince, you know what I'm saying? Disrespecting the man. I'm talking about disrespecting the man family. I'm talking about he was going in deep, deep, deep. All right? When I tell you... I was like, damn, he is really throwing bait out for people to catch it. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Mm -mm. Something up with that. And then after the Nipsey thing, he's still just talking shit to everybody. He don't care. So a person like that, you got to wonder, is this dude working with the people? Because it's, it's, it's as if, people, he is wanting to set people up or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just in everybody's face. It's crazy. On some real shit. It's really mind-boggling at the end of the day. As far as him, just steady talking mess to people. He's turning into a 6'9". I think he's been talking to 6'9 too long. Or too much. Some of that 6'9 and then, then, then rubbed off on his ass. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Straight up. And then rubbed out on him, buddy. That's crazy, though. So, yeah. Him and Rainwater get into it on Clubhouse. That Clubhouse something else. That Clubhouse something else. I ain't lying. That Clubhouse, boy. Woo. It be some drama on that joint. You know what I'm saying? It be drama, man. Uh... So I, I don't know what to say about that, about that. But you know what I was thinking too, though. Uh, Trap Boy Freddy. See, they also said Trap Boy Freddy and your boy Rainwater squashed they beat. They cool now. That's what Rainwater says allegedly. To Ratchet TV, matter of fact, it was on Ratchet TV today. 
Hmm? Earlier today. So check this out. I'm like, what? Look, it's one. Okay, and so let me let me say this though. Rainwater was like, well, it's too much black on black crime, which is true. That I listen that we just need to, you know, basically come together. That I listen that. I get all that. It's one thing to be like, I'm cool with them. The beef is squash. You know, let bygones be bygones. But to work with you though, to have some type of dealings with you though, like on a a money level and shit like that? Uh-uh. That's too far. See, because Mo3 go. And come on, man. Come on. Man. See, it's always the ones close to you, people. That's the shit I be talking about. And people got the nerve to, to get at me talking about people close to Dolph couldn't do this and do that. Man, whatever. Mm. It's always the ones close to you, people. It's always the ones close to you. That'll end up having something to do with you getting the hell up out of here. I ain't saying he did it. I'm saying it'd be the ones close to you. Because how can you get close to somebody? How can you know certain things? Somebody close to you got to be giving up the, the damn jewels. Message? Shit. All these damn gangster movies and shit we done seen. And it's always... Look. I was watching American Gangster last night. I think it was last night on BET. And check it out. Remember that scene? I think it was his cousin. Yeah, it was one of his cousins. They caught him up. And now he got wiretap going to see Frank Lucas. Man, you hear me? Oh, your own damn people. Because they done scared the bejesus out your ass. You're going to get some time in this and that. But you will give up your people. Damn, that's... I'll tell you another movie, Blue Hill Avenue. If y'all ever seen Blue Hill Avenue, they was kids. They grew up together, literally. And what happened? One of his boys, punked out, got it. And got Christian up out of here. Christian. Yep. It's crazy. That's a good-ass movie, too, y'all. Blue Hill Avenue, that's a good-ass, great-ass movie. Them, them shit, that's the shit. But that's what I'm saying. It be the close. It be them people that's close to you. That's why sometimes you have to sever ties. That's why. That's why sometimes you have to let go of people for for many reasons to get your mind right to so you could be collective. You know what I'm saying? Go and collect your thoughts and and, and, and you know. And then it, it it leaves you to be to grow into more into yourself. You know what I'm saying? And and then you start to see. You start to understand stuff. And you get the, and then when you when you get away from people, it you it gives you time to think about all the times you was around certain people, and what happened this day and how they was acting this day. You know what I'm saying? It, look, it, that's some good healing shit though. Getting away from people, not telling people your next move and stuff like that. Cause like you used to do, just stop moving like you used to do. And then when you do that. That's an experiment. See, when you do that, then you'll see how many people really mess with you. And see if it was really you that was going around and everybody saying hi. Huh? Because see, when you still going around people, you really don't think about that. You just going, you know, going around, seeing people. You know what I'm saying? But when you stop, hmm? when you stop, though, you will understand how many people really mess with you or not. Without even having to ask if they mess with you or not. Just stop going around. You'll see. Mm-hmm. See how long it take for certain people to call you and, and check up on you and shit. Huh? I do it all the time. That's what that's how I know who to cut off. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I woke up one morning and uh I looked at my cutoff list and guess what? It wasn't nobody else on there because I had Cut them all off. <laughs> That's it. So I said, oh, I ain't got to worry about that list no more. They all lined out. They lined out. Mm-hmm. So, that's why I got on here, people. What's up with this Mo3 thing with, with Rainwater and, Fre and Trap Boy Freddy? I mean, come on, man. Because he swore up and down. That was my boy. That was my guy. But you doing business with his... Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. 
Message.